Hey YouTube, neighborhood's on fire, it's typical. Um, I figured it's getting towards the end of, it's what, September 10th today, and uh, the garden's definitely on its last leg, so I figured I'd do one more like kind of overall garden tour because there's not going to be much here soon. Um, but let me show you here what's happening. These, uh, this is my, my second row of tomatoes, the planting that I did in July, June, July. Yeah, they're still doing pretty good. Um, lots of tomatoes on, on the vine there. And then my watermelon, I think I've got 10 or, I think I've got a dozen. I've got a good solid 12 watermelon in here that are probably about, they're probably all ready to pick, honestly. Um, so we've been eating watermelon like crazy. Every day we've been eating watermelon. And then in this row, That's where I did my radishes and my kohlrabi, zucchini, I'm going to give those a little bit longer. Um, these are the pumpkins, and for the most part I think the pumpkin plants themselves look like they're done. But there's still a pumpkin or two that is kind of green, so... I will be pulling all that here real quick. And the ground cherries... Ever since this heat wave we had last week, got up to like 100 and... I think at one point... I saw 111. Farmer Jay says she saw 114. It was hot. And uh, the garden's really like paying the price for it, I feel like, even though I've been diligently watering everything. But the ground cherries, they're pretty much done. I need to start thinking about pulling them and saving seeds. And this is my first row of tomatoes that I started with. I'm feeling like the tomatoes are not. The tomatoes are, are good, but the plants themselves are starting to look kind of sparse. They're not as thick and full as they were. So, anyway, it's it's getting to an end here. And I've got another small little trellis here of tomatoes. And I'll tell you what, I used um, tie wire on these ones just because that's what I had at the time when I did it. And that was a terrible, terrible idea. I'll never do that again. This is all tie wire. Everything I got over there, I used twine. It's definitely the way to be doing it. And then here in this row, um, I did a late, late planting of peppers. So, um, they're doing, I don't know. I don't know if anything's gonna happen with those, but they're hanging in there. I've got a peanut plant that's looking good. That one's looking really good. And then there's like two or three more on each side, but that's that's the one that's gonna have anything to show for it. And we've got all my tomatillos down here. Wild for the most part. I've had a lot of tomatillos. And there's some pretty big green ones here. These ones are all green. On the other side, they're purple. But the tomatillos have done great. I need to start thinking about harvesting seeds from those. Because they're pretty much they're pretty much done as well. And this, this, the trellis thing this year, this is where I probably made my biggest mistake of the year. Um, I've been watering all these trellising by hand. And the whole point was, the whole reason that I ended up doing them by hand was because I planted like one trellis and then time went by, then I planted another trellis, time went by, I did another trellis. And instead of putting my soaker hose and then watering the whole thing. I was just trying to be conservative because I didn't have it all planted so I had to be watering 30 feet of empty space. So that's why I didn't have the soaker hose going to begin with and I think because I, I kind of came into things hand watering nothing really like took off like super good and I feel like I've really kind of suffered on the trellising this year. It hasn't performed nearly up to expectations or or anywhere near where it has in the past and my snake gourds I'm kind of disappointed in my snake gourds this year I've had a lot of blossoms that just they just died they didn't do anything I mean I've got a handful of snake gourds but for the most part all these flowers are just dying more so than they are doing anything else so I don't know what to I don't know I gotta I gotta do a little homework on that. But otherwise, that's where the garden's at so far. And I will probably start 
ripping the stuff up here real soon and, and getting real heavy on seed saving. That's what I got for today, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll see ya.